papaya is way too overripe. Oh, that does not look good. Ugh. No, take two. Much better, much better. guys I have already done a workout this morning and this is like my little post workout meal I have been having papaya every day as you guys know it's just so I just wanted to let you guys know of something super super exciting um, in the holiday Christmas spirit my ebook what I eat for life which has over 100 plant-based vegan recipes that are very similar to the recipes that you're gonna see in this video. I'm actually gonna make something from my recipe book in this video and all of the other recipes that I make online. Very whole plant-based recipes that are super tasty. It is on sale today, right now, as you're watching this. The recipe book is on sale for 50% off. You guys really enjoyed the Black Friday sale and I know a lot of you guys actually missed it. So I'm putting it on for 50% off again. So it will be on sale from right now until the end of Boxing Day. So till the end of December 26th, every single day, 50% off. So make sure you go and grab it if you haven't already. It's a really great Christmas gift if you guys wanna gift it to people. Um, all you have to do if you wanna give it as a gift is just enter in the person who you want to gift it to, enter in their information instead of your information and it will be sent to their email. Um, I think it's a really great Christmas gift, especially, especially, especially for people who may have just join the vegan or plant-based lifestyle and they're kind of not sure what they should be cooking or what they can eat and stuff like that. Also, it's just a really great Christmas gift. It's a useful Christmas gift. It's not just one of those Christmas gifts where you're just like, hey, here's a gift card to a place that you may not even go to. You know, it's a, it's a useful, a tactful Christmas gift that is doing good in the world, so. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys enjoy. I will leave the link if you wanna grab it. It's gonna be in the top link in the description as always. And it will also be in the pinned comment, so make sure you go and grab it. This is probably going to be the last kind of big sale that I'm going to be having on it for quite some time. So if you guys haven't had the chance to go and grab it, make sure you go grab it now because it's a really, really great deal. And I'm really, really proud of it. And so many of you guys are really enjoying it. There's so many of you in the Facebook group now and there's so many of you making the recipes and enjoying the recipes. And that is just like the best reward ever. I'm so glad you guys are loving it. Yeah, so make sure if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. So this morning I'm eating this papaya as sort of like my post-workout snack meal and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys three more recipes as like a full day of eating um, video because you guys really enjoyed the last one and I had so much fun making the last one it was really enjoyable for me so I'm going to make another one for you guys today I'm super excited for what I have planned to make today so I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah after this I'm gonna get started with some breakfast There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back with Great I batter. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling That's a great is technique all gone. Right there. Great technique. If 
I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told Okay guys, so I made some crepes and I filled them with fruit. Basically what I did was I took sort of the same recipe as the banana pancakes from my last full day of eating, full day of cooking video and I just adjusted the ratios to make it sort of like a crepe batter and then just rolled them out super thin. Sort of like a similar recipe, not, again, not like a traditional crepe recipe, but they look pretty amazing. And I was just using like what I had in the pantry, right? So like oats, I blended them up into flour and then just used a banana. So it was just really, really simple. I just made it in the blender and like this, this looks like it could be like a restaurant meal and I just made it in a blender. That's pretty good. I'm going to try it because I haven't even tried it yet. <laughs> Mmm. That's really good. They're like thin and crispy. They're really good, but it needs more chocolate. <laughs> Come on. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad for some blender crepes. Those are dang good, man. Chocolate? Mmm. <laughs> Chocolate's good. And the chocolate sauce is so simple. Another thing that would be really good is you could, like, because you can make this into so many different combinations. Like a peanut butter, banana. Oh, I'm gonna put peanut butter on my <laughs> Peanut butter, banana, chocolate one would be really, really good. Alright guys, so for lunch today I am super excited because I haven't had this meal in so long and it is definitely one of my go-to meals that I was making a lot when we were back home. Um, and I realized that I could pretty easily make this here. It will be a little bit different than I normally would do it, but, but we can definitely make it work. So I've got an array of veggies here. I've got some mushrooms, green beans, some peppers, a carrot, an onion. This is a lime juice that is going in this sauce for the tofu. Super excited, I haven't had tofu in so long. We've got some peanut butter, we've got some soy sauce. Normally I would use tamari, but we don't have any tamari. And then we've got some agave. Normally I would use maple syrup, but we don't have any maple syrup. And then I've got some chili and some garlic powder. Normally I would use sriracha or like some type of hot sauce, like Frank's Red Hot Sauce, which I really wish I had but we don't, so I'm using chili powder. I've got some quinoa cooking behind me on the stove that I cooked in vegetable broth. I am really enjoying quinoa lately just because it cooks faster than brown rice and I like the taste better and it digests really well for me. So I've cooked it in some veggie broth to give it some more flavor and I'm probably gonna have that with my dinner as well. So we've got that and I am going to try and make some tofu try because you guys know that I like to bake my tofu. That's how I find that it gets really crispy without using oil. But we don't have an oven here so I'm gonna try and do my best and see what I can do. This is a meal that we have like all the time. It's just so fast and easy to make. Kyle's sister and her boyfriend make it all the time and I'm pretty sure the sauce is some kind of rendition from Minimalist Baker. Not exactly sure. I just kind of throw a bunch of things to make the sauce and I'm just gonna try and measure it out and I'll share it with you guys. A lot of the time I would use almond butter, so if you do have almond butter at home, try it with almond butter, but it works great with peanut butter as well. So yeah, let's, let's attempt this.
The tofu turned out so well, you guys, with that like sandwich pan because it's non-stick oh. and it had like the little like divots in it so it didn't stick. Mmm. Mmm. That tofu's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Haven't had this in so long. I know. The sauce definitely, I really like the sauce using almond butter and maple syrup. But we just used what we had today and it still turned out really well. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of home. Mm -hmm. Great way to use up veggies in the fridge and it's also really, really quick and easy to make. Like you could have rice or quinoa ready to go and then just whip up the veggies and the sauce and the tofu and you got like amazing veggie stir fry in like 20 minutes. For dinner, I am making a recipe out of my ebook that I'm going to share with you guys. I actually made this in a what I eat in a day a while ago when we were back home, <clears throat> when we were back home in Canada. And a lot of you guys were asking for the recipe and I was like, oh, it's in my ebook. But I wanted to share it with you guys today because I really wanted to make it today and I thought, why not share it with you guys? It's a really awesome recipe. Um, it's a peanut sweet potato stew. So sort of like an African peanut stew is traditionally what they would call it, I think. But it's so good. There's like tomato paste, sweet potato, peanut butter. It's just very like savory. There's jalapeno in there, so it's like a little bit spicy. It's really, really good. You guys have to try it. Trust me on this. The lighting's not so hot in the kitchen right now, so it might not look the best. But trust me, it's super tasty. So let's go make it. Alright guys, we're right back to where this video started, <laughs> but this is the sweet potato peanut stew. It is so delicious. It's so hot right now that I actually haven't been able to try it, but I do really like this one. Even if you're not a sweet potato fan, I highly suggest you test out this recipe because you don't really get an overpowering taste of sweet potato because there's jalapeno and tomato and peanut in there. So you don't really taste it, it just kind of adds a really nice texture to the stew. Oh yeah, that's good. This is a recipe from my ebook. I have lots of similar recipes. I have a whole actually chapter dedicated to soups, stews, and curries. Um, and yeah, don't forget that my ebook is on sale for 50% off from right now until the end of Boxing Day, so until the end of December 26th. And if you do purchase the book, or even if you haven't purchased the book and you want to join the Facebook group, I'll also leave the link to that in the description down below. I really wanna start building more of a community in there and 
you know, just creating a space for people to ask questions and post recipe ideas and all that stuff. Um, I really encourage you to check that group out as well. Make sure you try out this African peanut stew. All the recipes that I made today are going to be linked in the description as well and that will take you to my blog on my website where I have a bunch of other recipes. And I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!